you'll have your, uh, you can have your four flight too, but also have your paper flight plan. It's to all going to be about the paper tomorrow. And cool. for this going. Four flight is yeah. just for traffic. It's totally, yeah, it's totally fine to have your four flight open and to be using it for traffic and such. That's great. I think he'll appreciate that. All right, we're at the shoreline. Okay. Oh, okay. it's warming up. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and drop the nose a little bit to 75 knots. I'm going to hit enter. We're at 2 minutes 16 seconds. And clear and enter again to start the next timer. Get down to 75 knots. So for your flight planning, when you prepare your flight plan, do that. Set this leg, the speed for this next leg, as okay. 75 instead of 65. Because that's more realistic, right? Yep. And I'm flying at 305. And if he asks you, why did you change to 75 in your flight planning when you're in the oral, what are you going to say? Because it's better visibility over the calling. Yeah, totally. We're and looking I'm for traffic. Looking I'm a DFR for pilot. Right, exactly. I would much rather I'm get there. so much clearance today. Thank yeah, goodness. Yeah, I know, right? Tomorrow should oh, be better. so too. much nicer. It is hot. Yeah, it's pretty warm. All right, so I'm trimming, I'm trimming, and I'm going to do a climb checklist. Excellent. So climb checklist, power is full, pitching for airspeed of 75 knots, trimming to relieve control pressure and monitoring temperatures and pressures. Excellent. We're looking good and we're a nice steady airspeed and we're flying um, to the Palisades and I'm looking over there and I am seeing the Malibu Pier. If this starts happening, where it's sort of getting low, just keep an eye on it. It sometimes does this. If it starts to get really low, then you should be concerned. But if it's just sort of right at the edge there, it's kind of normal. Okay. I'm feeling the left turning tendencies, and I'm trimming for that. Okay. We're at 2,500, and I'm feeling the heat. Yep. Our engine is, too. It's not quite there. We're, we're so far, we're holding so, in the uh, green, but, bit, yep. yep. And go ahead and turn to the Palisades. Stop, clear, go. Good. Excellent. Uh, Monica, police 18, like to transition north down along the shoreline. We'll There's go. the pier right there. Police 18, the pier is requested caution for pair ceiling. 18. Going to 3,500. Gonna keep it okay. over. I'm gonna keep it barely within my field of vision, cool. so that I know I'm headed towards it as much as I can with, while keeping it of sight. Right, and you're also you've got your heading, which you can reference. You know that this is kind of the right heading, so you can reference your heading here and see how that is, and then you can just kind of keep hold of that. I'm gonna level off a little bit here so that we can. Cool get down. some more cooling over the engine. It's a bit hot up here. Good. Any temperature? Yeah, good. You'll point out to him that the oil is a little warm, so we're just going to level off and let it cool down for a moment before we continue our climb. Very good. Yeah, I'm decreasing the engine power just to... Uh, you don't need to go be full throttle right now. Yeah, good. We're trying to let things cool. Very good. Very nice takeoff. Good sort of cross-country ups. Nice climb out. Nice short field takeoff. Excellent work. We're headed towards our landmark right there. It's Santa Monica. Uh, Santa Malibu Pier. Good. Yeah, Malibu Pier. Cool. Uh, oil temperature is holding steady right now. Okay, there we go. Yeah, we'll let it cool. We'll let it cool. I was just going to say, yeah. yeah, I want to get some buffer in there before we start cranking up. Again. Yeah, I agree. Uh, looking down really quickly on the iPad. Flapping traffic looks clear. Confirming that with the visual. And we're way out of Santa Monica's airspace, but we haven't heard from them about a handoff, yeah, right? Yeah, so I was going to say, should I ask for that handoff? Yeah. Okay. Santa Monica Tower, Fort Cruiser, 427 Romeo, request handoff to SoCal. November 27 Romeo, contact SoCal approach 125.2. Contact SoCal Approach, 125.2, 427 Romeo. SoCal Sport Cruiser, 427 Romeo at 6,700. 427 Romeo, altimeter 2970, on the radar contact. 
Niner 70, 47 Romeo. Alright, so we're now we can get a little bit more power in there. Start to resume our climb. Watching our oil temperature. Our, our timer is going to be off a bit because we slowed down. Okay. So we're, we have a bit of a, a reference to that canyon over there. And also I have a reference on my GPS in front of cool. me. Yeah. And you can always make a little wiggle turn to the right if you want, or you know, well, yeah, to the right so you can get better visibility on it. There it is. I can just the lady dig down a little bit. Yeah, you can always just bank your plane to the right, right? Make a little right turn if you want, and then you'll have better visibility on your side. It's also okay to dip the nose a little bit if you know it's right in front. Yeah, sure, you could do that. I would probably just give the plane a little, a little bit of roll to the right, but you can do whatever works for you. I think slow, smooth pre-flight sets the pace for the rest it of It really does, yeah. Everything. Having that like calm demeanor going into everything just sets you up in a calm demeanor going into the flight. Yeah. Okay, I think so that's I a see really the good gear up here. And I'm continuing to watch this traffic out there of uh, way out there. Jet? Yeah. Jet Blue 940, supply present heading. Present heading, Jumbo 942. Up to 942, uh, out of 7,000, you can expect a right turn to Lady J. Jumbo 942, Roger. All right, so here's our canyon. Our water towers are over there on that little plateau. Actually, it's that way. Um, so we're going to level off for a second. Watch him right here before I make my turn. Cool. Because I know that the uh, pier is right there. I'm trying to keep Everything nice and smooth here, maintaining altitude, watching my oil temperature, and I can actually start to see those water towers out there. Cool. Now uh, there's one a little bit closer, but it's further than that. And we're going to go ahead and start my turn. There's the canyon, there's the road. All right, cool. All right, great. We can go ahead and abandon the uh, cross country. Okay. Um, so, let's, uh, why don't you set me up for some steep turns? Okay. Let's go ahead and get started with some steep turns. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to check my tech. That's good. 44. Departure of the 3851, 2000, climbing via the summer 2 to maintain 5. Go ahead and get it cleared. Uh, 3851, departure, elevator contact, climbing via the summer 2, file over 230. Tell him, this is my clearing turn. Oh, I said it softly. I know you did, I know you did. This is my clearing turn. You see this here? This is my clearing turn. <laughs> the big thing is, ask him to help you look for traffic. Like, hey, this is our clearing turn, so help me look for traffic if you would. That makes you sound like a responsible Help me look crew responsible. resource management pilot. Yeah. So I see a nice long stretch of beach down there. Okay, cool. That looks pretty good. I also know that there's a really great stretch of beach right below us. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and... Yeah, there's the pier right there. Yeah, okay, you see this guy here? Yep. Go. All right. 2,500 feet. Yep. Go ahead and pull that back a little bit. Okay. Yep. 2,500 feet above us up there. Good. Okay, so emergency landing spot is below us. Okay. Um, reference point is going to be downtown LA. Okay. Or the mountain behind it. All right, sounds good. Um, reference altitude is 3,500. Okay. And our speed will show up here in a moment. Let's say level off. So, we've covered our clearing turn, our emergency landing area, our reference point, and we can Go ahead. Our radio contact has already been made. Good. And we can, uh, I'm going to trim for a second. All right, so we're at, at uh, 3,500. I'm going to go ahead and do a clearing, uh, steep turn. Which one, which direction? Uh, either way. All right, so I'm going to drop this a little bit to 4,500. Okay, looking at the horizon there. I'm going to 
steep turn to the left. Okay. All right, get yourself restabilized and uh, show me one to the right. So you know what I noticed? When I go slower, it was actually it was a little harder because okay. I'm just not used to going slower. Do what works for you at this point. Yeah. But you said don't crank into it. But there's a, there's a just, middle ground. Just do what works for you. Yeah. At this point, it's don't don't let's not start fixing things <laughs> that ain't broke. That's right. All right. So we're at 34. I'm gonna go ahead and go back to 3,500 RPM. I mean 3,500 feet. You didn't really declare a starting speed on that one. You had about 30, 74 knots. I looked over and saw it, but you didn't really declare a starting speed. Right, because I was waiting for the yeah. plane to settle. Yeah, so and make I sure you declare. do that. Yeah. Okay. It was. I don't think he would have totally crucified you for it, but. Okay, so 3,500 feet. Okay. 73 knots. 4,400 right. RPM. Aiming at LA. Uh, you got a beach behind us. We got a beach behind us. We're going to go ahead and start a steep turn to the right. We're at 72 knots. Go ahead and set us up for uh, some power on stall. Okay, so power on stall. Let's go ahead and. Would you like to reduce a little bit of the altitude, or are you okay? We have a plane. No, we're, yeah, we're fine. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna turn around for us. Okay, sounds good. The sun really gets in your eyes there when yeah, you turn sure around. Yeah, sure does. Yeah. But you know what? It just held the horizon. Sun will be. Uh, we'll see how it goes. There's a uh, traffic off our left, off our right shoulder now. A thousand feet below us. Cool. I'll be looking for him. I think he is uh, over the clan. Okay. Uh, I think he's under our wing. I can't see him. Why don't you dip the right wing for me, really quick? And no, he's not under our wing. But uh... let's go ahead and stay away from him. Okay. We just do another clearing turn. Yeah, do another clearing turn. Now, Delta 905 with you out of 1,305,000. Would I get busted if I don't? If I, I, if I had say I'm landing, first landing below, but don't do the clearing turn between maneuvers. That's, that's what it's like. Um, you can just ask him, hey, do you want me to do another clearing turn, or are you good? Oh, I see him over there. He's going the other direction now, so we're good. Let's just keep working. He's coming that out way. this way. Yeah, let's go left. Oh, I see him coming yeah. sight. Okay. Um. You can just ask him, hey, uh, do you want me to do another clearing turn? I just need to continue to make sure I either do it or ask for, him, ask yeah, for it. Just, if you, between steep turns, like to the left and then to the right, he's probably not going to ask you to do it again. But if you complete your steep turn, he says, okay, let's do one to the right. Just ask him, hey, do you want me to do another clearing turn or should we just go right into it? Yeah, let's, I'm going to try to always do a circuit every single time. Uh, so cool. All right, so emergency landing areas below us. We just did a clearing turn. Cool. Reference is 3,500 uh, feet, 77 knots. We are going to point, or a little bit close to point doom to point at it. We could point for the peak there. Okay, sounds good. That works for me. All right, so we're going to point for the peak. For traffic miles. looks clear on the iPad. I don't see traffic around. So call time. So we're going to go ahead and start yeah, our two, three, three, power six. on. Three thirty six Arch Raider contact line to the summer two. All right. Climbing to the summer two. Jeffrey three thirty six. Okay, so for power on stall. 
Reduce power to 3,500 RPM. Pull the carb heat. Once in the white arc, drop 10 degrees of flaps. Power idle. Pitch up for 50. Then add power. Carb heat in. Watch the right rudder. Go up until we get a stall. There's a stall, full power, carb heat in, it's already. Level off, get a positive rate of climb. Get the flaps back, pull back the power. Cool. Good. All right, great. Let's go into slow flight. Okay, so. We'll turn around because the sun's going to be very hot. Okay, yeah. If we do I agree with that. All right, so we have. Uh, a little bit of traffic going on. I'm going to descend back to 3,500 feet. Okay. Um, I'm going to continue to go this direction, then I'm going to go back that direction. We got um, a... Jet Blue 336, climb in. Center one, Is three, that a five, jet? Five. Yeah. Yeah. I'd be more worried about this guy They're here behind us, 700 three, feet. Three, three, so. Right. I think you can just hold your altitude. Yep. This one. yep. I got my 3,500 now. I'm holding altitude. I see a jet airliner well above us there. We have one guy on our on our tail, so I'm going to circle around, giving plenty of room uh, for the Bravo. Also, the new maneuver, so we're going to do a clearing turn. That's something I have to continue to remember. Clearing turn. Just think every maneuver circa, right? Or clear. Well, or you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to run through my flashcards, because that, it's, that, it's on every first flashcard. Circa, circa, circa. Sure, sure. Sure. If you want to get a post-it note and stick it up here with circa written on it, do it, you know? Okay. All right, that idea. All right, we, got, we should have traffic right down here. Climb via Lady J said maintain 8,000. Sky was 3580. All right. Okay. Well, we can do our slow flight here, and then we'll be looking for him as we go. Okay. So, I'm going to go ahead and get set up for slow flight. I'm going to start at 3,500 feet. Still looking for traffic. Gosh, it's so much clearer. Much better. I got him. You got him? Fine. No, uh, about a thousand below. Right oh, along. Top inside. Cool. Cool. All right. So, get back to where we need to be. All right. We're going to do low flight. And we're going to target 40 knots. 40 knots. Okay. So, let me first get settled here. Emergency landing area is the beaches down there. We uh, already did a clearing turn, identified traffic off to our left, we made radio contact. Uh, clearing turn, emergency landing area, radio contact, reference point, downtown LA. Okay. 3,500 feet. I'm going to aim for 40 knots. The plane is um, continuing to go behind us. Good. I like that you continue to keep an eye on him. So we're going to go ahead and drop our RPMs 3,500. Continue to maintain altitude. We're within the white arc, so we're going to drop. We're going to increment our full flaps. And then once we reach 50, we're going to start to trim there. Take me to 3,600 feet. Careful about that much power with car beat on. Oh. Will he get, get me in trouble for that? Nah, no, probably not. Departure one two eight point seven. That's more of a just a U thing. Two eight seven five. Scout is thirty five eighty. Howdy, SoCal. Scout is thirty eight oh seven. One thousand seven hundred. Climbing via the summit. Seventy two five thousand. 3807, departure rate of contact, climb in the summer, 2 mile, 230. 
3600. Yep. He's turning around again. He's maneuvering. Yeah. Alright, we're at 3600. Make a left turn, 90 degrees that way. Oh yeah, Devin. And as you come around, be looking for that traffic. And you can just keep that turn coming 180 degrees around into the sun. All right, let's go ahead and descend down to 35. SoCal 75 is uh, 1 3, climbing via the Lady Jig at 5 South. What's going on here? Alaska 1055, SoCal departure, radar contact, climbing via the Lady Jig. I got that traffic in Climbing via the Lady Jig, Alaska 75. Yeah, thank you, Mr. Examiner. If you could help me look out for that traffic, I'd appreciate it. Yeah, great, thanks. Okay, watch your speed. I was looking at the traffic for two seconds. I see that. Now, he wouldn't say that. I would catch it. I would say, oh, I see my speed's getting a couple notches high. Correct that. Good. I was just making sure that we're clear of traffic, sir. All right, so we're going to descend to. Yeah, why don't you just level off here? That's, that's fine. Okay. So I just capture this altitude and level off. You can just pretend that this is our the altitude I originally said. All right, cool. Let's go ahead and do a uh, power off stall. Just go right into it. Okay, so power off stall. We already have everything set up. Car V is going to come out. Okay, so we're going to just go right into power idle. Car V out. And we're already set up in full flaps. We're trying to get some speed here, like we're coming in to land. I don't think we're going to get much more than 50 knots, so I'm going to go ahead and pitch up. Watch if my out in front of me. Traffic is pretty close. Yep. Too close. Too close. Yeah, I kind of agree with that. I think that that's a... Uh... If you're going to recover, though, then bring your flaps up, too, right? Yeah. I think that that was it. I would think I would agree with that safety assessment that you just made there to sort of abandon that. Yes, sir. We will. I promise you, we will just demonstrate it once we get clear of traffic. Yeah. We'll go ahead and turn around 180 degrees. I'm gonna get the back up at 3,500 okay. feet. Looking for him. And he should be. He's the same altitude now. So, I think that I completely agree with you, and I think any examiner would too. Just make sure you say, sir, I'm gonna abandon this maneuver, and because uh, that traffic's close. I did. You know? I said he's too close, and then I started yeah, to abandon. Yeah. I got what you were doing, and I think, it, and it worked for me. So. But let's make sure we're looking for him, of course. He is opposite Airport direction. Airport Radio, the FR traffic. Just about a mile and a half north of you, maneuvering along the shoreline. Type is unknown and altitude indicates 3,500. Is that us? It's yeah. All for us? Yeah, it's in sight. Looking for tra traffic in sight, 47 Romeo. I didn't hear 47 Romeo. Yeah, that's she said. Um, okay, cool. Let's do this. Let's go. Right, that let's person is not talking to approach, so. Let's, let's do it again. Yeah, let's do it again. And, uh, we'll keep an eye on him. Yeah. All right, so power off stall. We're going to go ahead and reduce power to 3,500 RPM. Pull the carb heat. Pitch to maintain altitude. Watch in the white arc. We're going to step down into the full flaps. Once we got full flaps, we're going to head power idle. Like we're coming into land here. We don't want to descend too much. Kind of keep Alaska 1055, contact with, uh, departure, 128.75, Downtown LA, 285, all right, here we go, put an eye on the traffic. Skywest 3287, contact LA center 135.5, We have a stall, full power, car being in, flaps 20, still looking at downtown LA, establishing a positive rate of climb, there it is. Go back to flaps 10. 
go ahead and take flaps 10 up for a few more seconds. We're going to carry back up to 3,500 feet. Beautiful. Really nicely done. And we are watching that guy out there. He's not talking, huh? Yeah, but we're going to keep going in this direction anyway. Um, so... Well, sir, can, uh, where would you like to do the ground reference maneuvers? Yep, what we're going to do is we're going to use the uh, coastline and the pier. Can I request the point doom? Because he will give me the option I would like. You'd rather do point, point doom? doom? All right, yeah. let's go do point doom. So flip us around and head out towards point doom. All right, so we're at 3,500 feet. Got a 680, so cut a picture radar contact we line via the Lady J departure. Go this way. Okay, double 680, climbing via the Lady J for departure. Okay. Looking for traffic. So we'll just uh, maintain your altitude and fly out towards point doom. Now, one thing, we got, we identified our, again, I guess, I just gotta put it right here, Circa. I just have to. Because before the saw, after we abandoned the first one, before we went to the second one, we didn't do the Circa. Yeah. Is he gonna remember that? I think, like, I, uh, if I was the examiner, I wouldn't have, like, Circa crucified you for that. But I do, I do. But like I want you to just keep doing it every time. Yeah. Every time, circa. I'll just put it right here. Yeah. Circa, circa. Who might take it off? We put it there. They, what they don't understand this is my airplane. Circa. Circa, circa. Every time. Um. All right. You know what? We're cruising. We'll do a cruise checklist. Okay. We're gonna we're cruising between 4,400 and 5,000 RPM, we're maintaining our altitude. By trimming, we're looking at our fuel pump and voltages, temperatures, pressures, all looking good. And we are continuing to scan the skies. Cool. All right, so uh, fly towards, just keep going towards Point Doom. Don't get too close to Point Doom just yet because of uh, the uh, Bravo. Uh, but just yep. keep just keep us towards the middle of the land. Yeah, there. I mean, it's entirely possible. What happened actually with Devin is that there was a helicopter down there that we saw on the ADSB. Uh -huh. And they were like, you know what? We're not going to go down there because he's too close to Point Doom. And then we did around that tower. Yeah. And it was fine. I did it. No problems. All right, cool. That's you a backup plan. All right. If that's what you want to do, you can do that. Yeah. The, the pier is not ideal because the the height of the buildings, and then you have to drop and then the, with the bluff, and then it's just like right. there's so much going on. Okay, that's fine. You can use the, uh, we'll do the, uh, we'll do the coastline and... Uh, yeah, I know that he'll be doing the coastline for the S-turns. Yeah. Then we'll, so we'll do the, uh, the, uh, turns down a point and the S-turns, then we'll go back to Santa Monica. Big, wide S-turns. Yeah. 15 degrees. Yeah. All right, we got traffic right there. There it is. Jet. Can you do me a favor and grab that water bottle for me? Sun Ember, descending out of 10,700 restricted above you. Okay, we're looking for Delta 6 there. We're trying to climb to make uh, Malibu uh, at or about 7. It's going to be close. Okay, that's fine. I'm going to maintain 8,000. Well, thank you very much. Delta 680 climbing to 8,000. That's him right there. Yep. Why? What was he trying to do what he couldn't do? I don't know. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure. He's 3,800 feet above us, so he's like, uh... Trying to get to 8,000. Yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and ignore that fuel tank alarm, okay. because we have plenty of fuel in each tank. Now, since we're kind of killing time here... In this case, I would say this is now is a good time to flip it, right? We're at cruise, we're at a high altitude. Oh, yeah, but we're... Why would we flip to a with one gallon difference. Because just keep it balanced, right? Because this is probably more than 13 gallons over there, right? All right, switching fuel tanks, watching the fuel pressure. Oh. Making sure everything is still good on altitude and all that. Nicely done. All right, so let's say we have a diversion. What do we do? We hit nearest and we put the cursor in and then you should be able to go direct to, enter, enter. Hotel departure. Great. Right. How long is it going to take us to get to Santa Monica? Uh, it's going to take us 8 minutes and 46 seconds. Good. And how far are we? We're at 12.9 nautical miles. Great. Devin asked me, and I was like struggling. He's like, dude, nearest. Yeah. 
<laughs> I, I looked at it like a Chinese character. I didn't even touch it. I thought That's it was another language. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go ahead and start my descent. Nope, just go ahead and stay here. Oh, okay. Oh, I see what's going on. Yeah. We can go ahead and start that. Simulated oh. engine failure. Oh, boy. Okay. Well, simulated engine failure. I'm going to go ahead and water bottle away. First thing I want to do is pitch for my airspeed. So I'll pitch for my airspeed. I'm going to be trimming for that. I'm trying to get to 60 knots. Now I'm starting to look about where do I want to land. I'm going to go ahead and do it turn here. Alright, there's a nice long stretch beach. Why don't you use a beach like right here? There's a good one here. Okay. There's just so we to keep going in the right direction. Gotcha. Alright, we're at 60 knots. We got a nice long stretch of beach down there. I'm dead. I believe the wind is usually coming this way, so I'm going to land going that way. Great. Uh, best field for an upwind pattern landing is going to be down there. Okay, so uh, now for a checklist. So throttle, cracked, choke, off, Carb heat on, fuel pump on, master switch on, crank the ignition. What happens? You skip nothing. Nothing happened, but you skipped one key step. Put some fuel tanks. Yeah. I'll study my flashcards. Okay. Put some fuel tanks. So just look down. It's one, two, three, four, and then switches. One, two, three, four. Oh, that and then switches. Off. Yeah. Okay. Cool. All right. So we're gonna start to make a turn around here. Okay. So now I'm gonna declare emergency on Squawk Seven Seven Zero Zero. I'm gonna try to flatten out my. Uh, pitch angle here, I would be declaring a emergency on 121.5. I would, I would apply flaps as necessary, which we're not quite to that point just yet. Okay. I uh, want to make sure our landing spot is made before we start applying the flaps. Okay. And I'm going to pause there until we get lower to the ground. All right, sounds good. Okay, so here's what I'm seeing here. I'm seeing a bunch of rocks. I'm not seeing rocks okay. over there. Okay. okay. So I'm, I'm going over there. All right, that's fine. Hawaiian Niner, heavy, so cut apart secure, radar contact, climb via the summer two departure. I mean, there is. Summer two departure, Hawaiian uh, I'm going to commit to that right there. Okay, good. That's... All right. Horizon 2440, contact LA Center, 135.5. Hold on. 955, Horizon Air, 2440, uh, toodles. Toodles. Okay. So, we are getting ourselves... I'm just gonna cycle a little power in for engine warming, but I'm fine. Which beach are you landing on? Right down there. Okay. Why are we circling here at the departure end of it? Oh. I'm circling back. Okay. Now I see that we're pretty low, so I'm gonna go back this way. See that beach right there? Yep. That's where we're headed. All right, sounds good. I'm gonna cycle the power. Kind of mess up my gliding. I know. You just do your best. It's just okay. that's just a sanity check. If you get to 1,000 feet and he hasn't told you to recover, ask him if you'd like me to recover. Say, so okay, okay, do you want me to recover? Tango, 4,500, check in. Southern Zulu Tango, so tell approach ident. Southern Zulu Tango, radar contact 8 miles northwest to Santa Monica, altitude indicates 4,400. Clear through Los Angeles, cross Broadway if you'd like to keep the climb coming through navigation house. and VFR 8,500 for each other. Alright, clear through the cross, Bravo, and the yellow star is 8,500, 7,500. Departure Skyway 3700, 2000, climbing 5,000 on uh, the beginning of the summer, summer anyway. Skyway 3700, let's go and recover. Departure radar contact, climbing via the SIS. Climbing the SIS, Skyway 3700. Probably came in a bit high on that, right? Probably needed a little bit more of a downwind. Could have done one more. There. Yeah, I think another Point 360 heavy, probably would have worked out for you. But you had a lot of, there was a lot of extra beach to overrun. 
Um, and then so as we got closer, I was applying flaps as necessary. I would turn off the switches. I would shut down the engine by putting the fuel tank in the middle, shut down the fuel pump, turn off the ignition, open the canopy, tighten the seat belts, good. prepare for impact. Cool, good. Um, I'll study let's, that. Let's go up to like uh, 1500 really quick. Um, okay. Good, okay. So for your setup when you're choosing a spot for an emergency landing, aim further back down the beach. We're aiming like in the middle of, of our beach and we're coming up high, right? Give yourself, we had a whole bunch of beach behind us. Give yourself, include that as part of your landing spot. So if you overshoot, you've got extra space, right? Well, that's cool. Because we were way too high there, right? Yeah. So we had a whole bunch of beach behind us that's useless. So include that beach in your, in your calculation, right? Wasn't there houses in the way? Yeah, there, were, there was some beach there. So give yourself just a little extra space, but you could have made a slip and you could have made it work. I, I, I believe that in that situation, if you had to make it work, you would have figured it out. Don't forget to slip. You could have, you could have slipped. I, you don't need to do slip that here, the, but you could say to him, okay, I would add a slip here and, and you know, dump full flaps and get it down. All right, cool. Go ahead and set me up for turns around a point at point due. Yes, sir. At a thousand feet. That'll work. Wow, some of these houses are like fucking insane. <laughs> Especially the ones Holy up there. Christ. There's one house back there that was like. It looked like the Getty. Wow. Devin said he got some complaints for doing turns around a point here. Did he? Yeah, like every time. What do they do? Uh, Who do they call? I have no idea. As long as we're a thousand AGL, we're legal. Complain all day, but. Our emergency landing is in front of us. 57 to Tango, traffic okay. at your 1 o'clock, 5 miles east, uh, level at 7,000. All right, what's our circa here? We don't need to do a clearing. Uh, yeah, so the circa is the... Okay, so the clearing is going to turn around this way. Cool. First landing area is be, uh, Dulu Beach right here. Okay. Duma Beach. And uh, our reference point is Point Doom. Our altitude is... 1,000 feet. Our airspeed will be established. Okay, so our, our emergency landing spot's right there on that beach. Okay, sounds there. good. Our, um, we will establish our airspeed soon. I'm going to take us out to the downwind. Okay. He said he wants about a quarter mile. I feel like that's the end of the wing. Fuel pressure is doing okay. Not great, but okay. So what I would do for your check right here is 1,100 feet, because technically we have to be 1,000 feet above the land, right? And that land is not zero feet. So that's what I would probably tell them. That way he doesn't bust you on a technicality like uh, you were too low. Right. So 1,100 feet coming in. At 77 knots.
not buffer is all you get. You're right on the edge of your buffer. screwing in because you had you were a little too much bank on the slow side, right? On the upwind side over there. So we ended up a little tight, but I think it's, I'm not gonna extremely bust you on it. Let's go around one more time, just try and hold this distance. All right, we're at 1070, 77 knots. Okay. Speed. Cool, so which side of this turn requires the least amount of bank? Which side? This side. Which side? This side. The side over there? No, this, we're on the side we're on right now. Nope, we're not at the point of lowest bank yet. The point of lowest bank is that side right there, flying that direction, right? The wind is coming this way. Oh, I see. Airport 29 Lima, Papa, Sotel Approach, LA Altimeter, 296. We're doing good right now. 296, Make sure that you have good grip, grip on which direction the wind is coming from. So make sure that here, don't turn yet. Fly, keep, your, keep going upwind. This is the point where you're making your turn too early and you're ending up too close. Now you can make your turn and nice and shallow to begin and then steepening up as you come onto the fast side over there. And see how we didn't corkscrew in here? So understand where your point of most bank is and least bank is before you begin the maneuver. Right? Most bank and least bank before we begin the maneuver. If you understand where you need those things, then everything in between is just a transition. There we go, Good. there we go, there we go. Good, so we're coming around to the point of most bank in just a moment here, which is gonna be when we're right abeam this thing. And this is our point of maximum bank, right? Right here. Because we're at the fast side, right? Cool. Keep that in there, and then as you start to come around, you're going to slowly unwind the most bank. Good. Okay, cool. We can go ahead and recover. Just take us right over there to do some S-turns. That second one was perfect. Nicely done. Let's go over there. We'll do our S-turns, and then we'll head into San Juan. Yes, sir. Okay, sir, we're at 1,090 feet, and we're gonna do some nice shallow S-turns for you. I'm gonna go ahead and start over there and work my way back, is that okay? Sounds good. We're gonna start in the downwind, which the wind is blowing. Does this thing work? Eh, medium. It kind of works. It kind of works. It sometimes works, but right now I would say it's fairly accurate. The wind is clearly blowing in this direction. Blowing in this direction, okay. All right, there's our road. Canada 559, 28.75. All right, so we're going to start our S turns coming up. You see that like complex of buildings? Yep. That's going to be my target to begin with. Okay. Emergency landing area is below. Okay. Reference point is the coastline here. Perfect. Altitude is going to be uh, about 1,100 feet. Excellent. And our airspeed is holding right now at 82 knots. Okay. Let's go ahead and begin. You said 15, right? 15? 15 degrees. 20 degrees maximum bank. It's not, you don't have to hold 20 degrees the entire time. That's not the maneuver. The maneuver, but he's just saying he wants it no more than 20 degrees of bank. Okay. The maneuver obviously requires you to adjust the amount of bank constantly. All right, we're at 1181 knots. We're still banking. And wing is level, right. continuing. So this is the fast side, maximum bank, right? Yeah, 20 degrees, max bank. 
Side, so this is the, sh this is the uh, shallow side, right? I mean, we're doing good. You've got a nice shallow bank in there. It's looking good. And now we're starting to come around into the Our fast side. Our speed dropped too much. Yeah, it sure did. Correct that. Oh, our speed. Don't sorry. just accept it. Correct it. If you look down you see it, don't give up. Just correct it. Okay. Let him tell you that it's game over. I didn't even notice. You just, if you see it, correct it. Got it. Don't, don't announce it. Don't announce it. Don't quit. But just correct it. Cool. All right. Good. Let's go home. Very nice. Okay. Those were two really. That was a really good steep turn and a really good turnaround point. S turn. Um, S turn. Yeah. Except I but don't own. I mean, I mean, don't give up. Don't be like, oh shit, I busted my speed. I give up. Just make a correction. If you look down, you up. see it. Keep correcting. Never give up. All right. We're gonna go up. Dynasty 2007 Heavy, contact LA Center 135.5. I'm going to take us up to 2,500 feet to go home. Okay, sounds good. And let's go ahead and get the ATIS ready. Great. I like how you're thinking ahead of the plane. Okay, great. Nice work on all those maneuvers. Um, no, no comments uh, other than what we discussed. Really good stuff. I'm going to do well tomorrow. You're going to do well tomorrow. I believe in you. You're no pressure. You're just do just just do what you're doing today. Honestly, you can do this. You've uh, you are a pilot. You, you are, a pilot. You're ready. You're ready to do this. Absolutely. So we'll go back and uh, we'll do a uh, short field landing and a soft field landing and a soft field takeoff. Um, okay. Four two seven Romeo via for traffic. Ten o'clock. Two and a half miles southwest bound. Two aircraft. Both types are unknown and both indicating two thousand five hundred. Looking for traffic. Four two seven Romeo. They're back there. Uh, you see them? I do not see them. They're not quite back there. They're kind of looking at your iPad here. They're like. They're right over. They're right over here. Oh, traffic in sight. Four two seven Romeo. There they are. Romeo. Yeah. Two helicopters? Two helicopters. They're low, man. Yeah, they're whipping it through those mountains. They're probably like sheriff helicopters or something like that, or fire helicopters. I'm grateful that there's less haze, but I knew what to do in the haze. I could have still done it. Because we learned to go under the layer. Or at least yeah, have it's the not layer. in it. If you get out there and you look at it, it's just like hazy as fuck. Be like, let's try a different altitude or something, you know? Yeah. Well, I'm TIC. If I don't feel comfortable doing the maneuver, I'm going to tell them I want to do the maneuver over there. Or I want to do a maneuver at this altitude. Yeah. I agree with that decision making, and I think he will too. Better chairman, only two happies out of service. Dodger Stadium TFR in effect. I'm sorry, but excuse caution for the low level along the shoreline. Advise on initial contact, you have Tango. Tango. And I want to get for information Tango 0051, Zulu observation, 1240 at 7, visibility 10, sky to below 1000, temperature 21, dew point 16, altimeter 29 or 69. You're out far and have a visual approach to use, landing on the runway 21. There's air runway 21, Pappy's out of service, Dr. Stadium TFR in effect. Do we have a TFR going on? The Dodger Stadium TFR. Wait, what happened to the... Uh, is it tonight? Wait, no, they, she canceled her trip. Nice! <laughs> I saw that coming and I was like, shit! Two nights, six nights. Tango. Dodger Stadium TFR in effect. I turn by the caution for pairs in the low level along the shoreline. Advise on initial contact, you have Tango. Alright, we have Tango. 
That, that cadence was like an airline pilot. We should try to keep that cadence. <laughs> nice and calm, nice, nice and, and slow. Nice and calm, nice and slow, yeah. Well, in the beginning, they're like, you gotta race through it, man. No, you don't need to race through it. You need to be efficient and deliberate, but not race through it. Okay, there. Good. So, um, the mini route. Yeah. Hazardous, isn't it? Everybody's at the same altitude, going opposite directions? Yeah, but you're under positive air traffic control because you're talking to LAX Tower. Oh, uh, okay. The, what would you recommend? The mini route is preferable if you can get it. Special flight rules is usually all that you can get because mini route is frequently closed. But the special flight rules, I would say, is hazardous because it's a total free-for-all. It's a bottleneck, and you've got a whole bunch of planes that are all converging into one small area, and there's no controlling at all because it's all, you know, self-announced, and there's... Yeah. I mean, I wouldn't say it's like... Because that's the plan for Sunday. Yeah, I mean... Oh, by the way, what's your schedule on Sunday morning? Uh, I'm having brunch. It's my dad's birthday. I'm having brunch with him. Oh, okay. Why? I'm just curious. I was going to... Uh, well, I'm not, I wouldn't fly until like 4. Okay. I was just wanted to like go over it with you quickly. Sure. The mini route? Uh, my flight plan to Long Beach Airport. Okay. Do you want to go fly it on... I don't think that's necessary. Okay. Don't have time for it either. Don't have a plane. Tango. We're Tango. Alright. I think Bob's a good guy. He seems like that. I'm just going to brush up on all my aeronautical knowledge in the morning. Yeah. They tell you my Spanish teacher have yelled at me. <laughs> you got all your teachers yelling at you. That's me. <laughs> I'm trying to learn two marks at the same time. Contact Santa Monica Tower. Have a good night. Contact, contact Santa Monica Tower. 47 Romeo. Good night. Free Air 90, 14 Heavy. Contact LA Center 135.5. Santa Monica Tower, Sport Cruiser 427 Romeo, inbound with information Tango. What are you trying to do? Get rid of the flight plan. You have to push flight plan. Clear and delete. If you want to create a new, if you want to just set a new new direct to, then you can just do the whole thing again, okay. and then it'll just redo it. Is this plane thirty one thousand feet above us? Uh, yeah. It's way up. Oh, I see him. Wow. Okay, cruise checklist again. Power between 4,400 and 5,000. Trend relieving control pressures. Temperatures and pressures monitor. Fuel pressures looking good. Oil temperatures a little bit warm, but we seem to be okay. Power seems to be at the right setting. We're gonna keep our eye on the oil temperature and the fuel pressure. Santa Monica Tower, Sport Cruiser 427 Romeo. Inbound with information, Tango. Let me take it. Can I try? Sure. But don't enter the airspace. 
Just say Santa Monica ground is tower offline. Yeah. Santa Monica ground. Four cruiser, 427 Romeo in the air is tower offline. I spoke to the summer negative, I try again, 120.1. We'll try 120.1, 47 Romeo. That's weird. Santa Monica Tower, Sport Cruiser, 427 Romeo, over the Palisades, inbound with information, Tango. Number 427 Romeo, Santa Monica Tower, right traffic, runway 21, clear to land. Right traffic, runway 21, clear to land, 427 Romeo. All right, that was weird. That was weird. Okay, so, let's get into a descent. Okay, descent checklist, power set for descent rate, car beat on, pitch for constant airspeed, we're aiming for the airport hangars there, and our landing light is already on. We're going to enter the downwind at, or, upwind, we're the down, upwind, no, we're entering the downwind at a 45 degree angle, into the traffic pattern at a 45 degree angle, 40. Warm. Yeah. Is that working? Yeah. Should be working. That was an unusual. I wonder what he was doing. Maybe he had a bathroom break. Yeah, but they are—they're not allowed to uh, take a bathroom break. They're not allowed to leave the position without being relieved by someone else. Yeah, that was on. Some hard chair, couple chair, four, four, four. Gonna have a chair. You're flighted to uh, Tanga Beach. Like get a stop transition to the Rainer, and then a midfield cross to the Blue Whale. Helicopter 444, November Charlie on flight Santa Monica Tower, Santa Monica altimeter 2968. He's caution for pair sailing. 2968. Doing good on time. Yep, we're in great shape. All right, let's start with a uh, soft. Uh, let's do it. You said torque fit before, but I'm down for whatever. Let's do a yeah, let's, do, let's do a short field landing. Short field landing, no pressure. One thing we need to do if we're doing a short field landing. So the short field landing, I'm going to declare the runway yeah. numbers. Thank you.
power go. Full power go. Lapse 20, car beat in. I'm gonna go ahead and roll at 65. Was that short? You were, you were there. It was, you could, you were. Uh, number 27, Romeo left close traffic, and uh, Romeo 2, one clear for the option. Left close traffic, Romeo 2, one clear for the option, 47, Romeo. Um, one of Ember, Charlie, and you were, you were there. I, I would have given it to you. They're going to be uh, joining the south down. I felt like it was a really stable approach. That, it was a really that. nice approach. That was a beautiful approach, uh, which is why I would have given it to you. Roger. It was, uh, yeah, just very nicely done all around. Um, okay, show me a uh, soft field landing. Shoreline transition to Marina Del Rey. Two sir. Numbers on your left. From seven nine zero eight seven Santa Monica Tower, Santa Monica altimeter two nine six eight. Squawk zero two uh, five maybe. three. Your transitions approved. Zero two five three transition approved. Zero seven. Maybe, but probably not. Beyonce's looking forward for this to being over. I'm, I'm, <laughs> Why is that? Well, th we, we have so much work going on next week. I've had to do like, I had to fly to San, Diego, San Jose on Tuesday, and then I had to go to a dinner meeting, and then I just have been, so wor working and studying, working and studying. Just yeah. Like, she's like, felt left out. I got her some flowers, so I'll make her feel better. That's good. And she's like, don't get stressed out. This is your hobby. This is your hobby. Like, I know, but I really want to run them. All right, get our speed back to where we want it. Pull our power. There's a meme that's, like, floating around that's, like, my wife couldn't take it anymore. She told me it was me or the plane. My response, clear prop. <laughs> seems very cool. She let me go all the way through this training. Didn't I'm say much just, at all. I'm just kidding. She I seems know. great. All right, so we're going to do... Oh, yeah, you met her, too. You saw yeah, her. Yeah, 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 the barbecue. All right, so pre-landing checklist. Go up on, land, land on. Car beat will come on. Power go to 35 RPM. We'll pitch 75 knots. Then we'll drop some flaps. We'll pitch 65 knots. We'll pin with control pressures. We'll go ahead and go now that we're at beam. We already said clear for landing. We're going to slow it. Pull it. Switch it. Pitch it. Seven like that, by the way. Bomb it. All right, let's get into a descent. Grab one. I think, you know, the wind's going to be super light. I hope so. I hope the day Tomorrow is... Tomorrow is going to be really nice. I hope it's just like today. Supposed to be. Good. Today has been perfect.
I also don't want breaking as needed, but I also don't want to start too fast. Yep. Just be careful of the brakes. The brakes need the pressure. Get that nose light. Get that nose up. Yeah, your mains sort of momentarily touched there, but I wouldn't say it was egregious. Try not to let that happen. Great flying weather, huh? Yeah. All right, let's do this as a as a power off 180 short approach with a forward slip and then a go around, even if it's going to work out perfectly. You got it. So try to make it a perfect like approach for a landing. Like try to make it so that you could land, but then we'll terminate it with a go around. do this. Yep. I would tell if you want a short approach. Santa Monica Tower, Sport Cruiser, 427 Romeo, request short approach. Number 27 Romeo approved as requested, runway 21 clear for the option. Runway 21 clear for the option, 427 Romeo. Doesn't that guy sound kind of beaten down? He's just had like a really long day. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> right? Well, he, something happened. He, he he may have gotten in trouble. You know, he 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 was off the mic for a little bit there. That something was weird. All right, pre landing checklist. Fuel pump on. Landing light on. RP will come on. We'll reduce power to 30 RPM. We'll pitch for 70 knots. We'll drop the flaps. We'll pitch for 65 knots. And I'm trimming the entire time. Cool. All right. Yep. Secure. Simulated engine. November 087, there's a flight of two helicopters over. The will turn their head into what looks like for the Hollywood Bowl. 1100 indicated squawk. VFR frequency change approved. Alright, we'll for the helicopters and VFR frequency approved. Have a good night. 087. Alright. Attention all aircraft, Santa Monica Airport Information Uniforms. Current wind 210 at 5, altimeter 2968. Three 
Air Charlie, runway 21, cleared for the option. If you would like a short approach, that is approved. Uh, cleared for the option, runway 32, Charlie. I wonder if he had, like, throat cancer or something. Yeah, I don't know. And you hear that guy on the radio all the time. Oh, really? Good go around. Really nice slip. Really nice short approach. I mean, that was, I, I couldn't have done it better myself. Nice. That was, that was beautiful. Cool. All right, show me a uh, short, field. short field landing and uh, we'll call it a night. Got it. This thing switched to night or something? Yeah, I did. I always like to spot my home. Right there. <laughs> Alright, pre landing checklist. Fuel pump on, landing it on. Carby will go on. Power will go to 3500 RPM. I will pitch for 75 knots, then it will drop some flaps, and I'll pitch 65 knots. We're going the entire time. Now we haven't heard from Tower yet, right? Nope, not yet. Oh, with Devin? Number 27, from over me 21, clear for the option, the short approach is approved. From 21, clear for the option, 47 Romeo. We had to go out like like so far, I, I, both of my practice short fields and soft fields were straight in. Right, yeah. That can happen. All right. All right. Just about a beam, I'm gonna land on the number, sir. All right. So, blow it, pull it, switch it, pitch it, bop it, and do it the same. common than you think. You hear about it if it's here as a core, but Three here, Charlie, follow traffic on a, well, there's short final, runway 21, a clear for the option. Clear for the option, yeah, clear traffic on a short final. Three here, Charlie. Looking for traffic, three here, Charlie. They're about to cross the threshold here. Roger, three here, Charlie.
Yep, landed just a little side loader. We need a little bit of right rudder on that one to get us pointed in the direction of movement. But you got us on the numbers. You did the, the objective. Um, really nice plan. You're gonna you're gonna nail it tomorrow. The only thing I'm worried about is just making sure I get that short field right. You know, it's only a little stick. Yeah, you're, you're 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 fine. Okay. I think both of those would have been passage. Cool. All right, let's get a license. Let's do it, man. Number two seven Romeo, contact ground. Oh, full brakes, flaps up. Contact ground, forty seven Romeo. Yeah, that's that's a little on me. I should have I should have held you to the rest of that maneuver there. You I gave kinda, it. I kind of threw. I kind of gave it to you a little early. You don't full need to. Brakes, yeah, but don't actually up. slam on the brakes. I know that. Just say, okay, now I'd be applying full brakes, and I'm bringing my flaps up to increase it, to increase weight on the wheels. We have runway. Car beat off. Flaps up. Lane light. Go off, 1200, ground. 10 Monica ground, 4 cruiser, 427 Romeo and Bravo 3, runway 21, request taxi back to Santa Monica Flyer. Bravo 427 Romeo, Santa Monica ground, taxi, Santa Monica Flyers via Bravo. Taxi to Flyers via Bravo, 427 Romeo. So tomorrow when you do your check ride, when he says, all right, taxi us back in, uh, remember your check ride isn't over yet. I know. Don't botch it on the taxi back in. People have done that. Go get a license. 